Hey guys, it's Adesis here, and we're back with another top five beginner tips video. And this time we're looking at They Are Billions. Now, this is quite a difficult game with a steep learning curve. So I wanted to do this video if you're just starting out the game, or if you've had a few goes and you need some helpful tips. So without further ado, here are my top five beginner tips for They Are Billions. Tip number five, when you start the game, use your units as walls or borders. So when you initially jump into the game, you have five units. Four of these are rangers and one is a soldier. After you've taken your four rangers around your borders and worked out where the nearest zombie threat is, you want to leave a ranger to cover that entrance to your base. It takes a ranger four shots to kill the average zombie, so one or two zombies coming at it at this early stage of the game shouldn't trouble it too much. Then you want to do the same with your other rangers and your soldier. Be careful with your soldier though, if you place them too close to a large horde of zombies, the sound of the soldier's gunfire will attract nearby zombies and they can quickly become overrun. Once your units are covering each entrance to your base, you can focus your attention on progressing your base build and supporting each entrance with walls and towers. Attention. Building completed. Tip number four, plan your settlement looking at the ground type. There are two main types of ground in the billions. the first is mud and the second is grass. What I would do is avoid, where at all possible, building things like houses and power plants on the grass, as the grass can house things like hunters cottages and farms, and these have a dramatically better yield if placed on grass. So I would put all of my huts and industrial buildings on the mud ground, saving the grass for the food based buildings. Another thing that falls into this tip is, check where the stone and metal formations are. You don't want to surround a stone pile with huts only to realise you need to delete them to make way for your quarry. The same can be said for the trees, you don't want to place things next to the forest, only to need to delete them to make way for a lumber mill. Tip number three, tents can be upgraded to cottages, cottages to houses. The first few times I played this game, I'd buy the relevant research buildings. I'd research cottages and then I'd start buying cottages and so on. I'd not realized that my first 30 tents I'd already placed down could be upgraded to cottages once I'd researched the ability to build them. All you have to do is click on the tent, and then in the panel there's a button for upgrading. Now, this does cost a bit, but it's definitely worth it for expanding your populace and maximising the of the space. For a little bonus tip here, when upgrading, double click on your tent or cottage, and it will select all of them at once. If you've got the money, you can then upgrade all of them at once. Tip number two, defence, defence, defence. One thing you have to resign yourself to at the beginning of the game is the knowledge that if you manage to survive the full game period, the horde is coming for you. And you can survive this, but in order to do so, you need to prepare and set up some pretty mean defences. For the early waves that come, you want to research state traps fairly quickly. These are a cheap and easy way of causing damage to all the zombies that pass by them. I mean, yeah, they do get destroyed fairly quickly, however, they're so cheap that you can quickly bang down a few rows, no problem. Combine these with fully manned towers and maybe a ballista and you'll be able to handle most early attacks. Later on in the game, you will have multiple layers of the upgraded state trap, multiple layers of walls and different types of towers and units to successfully repel the enemy. I'm not saying it's easy, but it is doable. Tip number one, spacebar. This one is so simple, but it's so easy to miss. You can pause the game with the spacebar and this has a couple of really big benefits. The first benefit is when you're paused you can continue to start building. So effectively, if you hear that the horde is approaching from the west, you can pause the game, throw down lots of towers, walls and traps, and then when you resume the game, the defences will build and it's likely they'll be fully completed long before the horde actually arrives. The second reason that pausing the game is awesome is if you're designing a wall for example, and you've got a high mass sensitivity and you end up messing up the design. As the construction hasn't technically started, you can just cancel the build and redesign. You'll get refunded all of the resources that you spent on that building. If you were to build whilst the game is running and still needed to delete that stray wall, then you'd only get refunded part of the initial resource cost. Right guys, those are my top 5 beginner tips for They Are Billions. I hope you found this useful in some way. If you did, please hit that like button. If you have any more beginner tips, please do share them in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, peace out.